Hey guys, welcome back. It's Katerina. I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. Today's video is going to be my April favorite. Not too, too many things. I just have everything in here. A lot of lip products though, I think. So let's get started. going in any particular order. I'm going to start with the one kind of like non-beauty makeup thing. This is actually petroleum jelly. Um, Vaseline is very similar to it as well. This is I think like the knockoff version. Yeah, compared to Vaseline. I like this more than Vaseline, to be honest. I use this to take off my mascara and eyeliner, just eye makeup in general. Now, I have heard multiple times that you're not supposed to use this. It is bad for your under eye area. Honestly, though, I have been using it for years and years and years. My under eyes, I think, are pretty fine right now. And this just makes taking off your eye makeup a dream, especially waterproof stuff. Also, this is only like three or four bucks for a huge tub. And it's going to last you for so long. I still have so much in here. I got this about a month ago. And you guys, I'm just sharing this in case you struggle with waterproof makeup and you want to find something to take it off easy, quick, and cheap. This is perfect. That kind of like skincare thing. This is the Olay Fresh FX kind of like zit zapper. It's just an acne spot treatment basically. And you guys have probably seen this in a couple of my videos where I'm doing my nighttime routine or a get ready with me or get unready with me. Because I just put this on after I have washed my face and I just dot this on areas that I have blemishes. It has been working so amazingly you guys. I have very acne prone skin. You guys know this very sensitive skin. So anytime I feel a blemish coming on or I see one peeking through I'll just pop this guy on there. Sleep with it overnight or just let it sit for a couple hours and usually I'm pretty good to go. Um, this really helps control them and get rid of them quickly. An eyeshadow palette. This is from the Sephora Makeup Made Simple. I'm mentioning this because I'm not the weather so it's to get warmer and nicer. I reach for this little guy right here. I love these shadows so much, especially this one. I use this shadow actually, this little palette in one of my recent tutorials. I'll link it down below. It was my bronze makeup tutorial, like an all bronze look. This color right here, I have yet to find anything like it. It's just the most beautiful. It looks like a basic brown, but you guys, it is stunning on the eye, especially like all over the eye. I cannot get enough from this palette. I love it so, so, so much. The bronzer, and I was really hesitant to mention this because I've only had it for like less than a week, but bronzers are bronzers, and like you can know instantly if you're going to love a bronzer. And I have been wearing this on my face ever since I got it. This is from Exo Rose Cosmetics. I'll link them down below. And this is in the shade Golden Goddess. It's so what I have on right now to contour and bronze up the face. It is stunning, you guys. I took out my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Bronzer. They are super, super similar, both matte. This one um, is paraben-free, hypoallergenic, uh, non-comedogenic, and cruelty-free. So this stuff is amazing, you guys, and I have just been using it non-stop. For my brows, this is the City Color Be Bold Brows. When I first got this, I, I was kind of hesitant about it because I was using an eyeshadow quad. You guys, this stuff is amazing. I have been using it every single day this month. And this is in the shade Medium. You get this really nice kind of warmer tone brown and then a really dark brown. It's what I have on my eyebrows right now. Really, really like it. Nail polish is really quick. Check. We're good. Which now I am noticing that my nails are totally not going with this outfit of makeup right now, but we're just going to go with it. Half of my nails right now is 340 Mint Sorbet. This is from Sally Hansen. This stuff is gorgeous. It is just a beautiful mint green color. I love this so much. I don't wear a lot of bright nail polishes. I like to stick with like nudes a lot or really light pastel colors. Um, but this is just stunning. Disregard the makeup and outfit because right now I'm not feeling it. But this is such a beautiful color, you guys. The other one, this is the L'Oreal Paris. This is one of the nude collections. This is Dotson Nude in 600. This is what I'm talking about. This is something I wear a lot. It's just that really nice kind of muted out tea rose color. It is so stunning. It really elongates your fingers, make them look slender and longer, which I'm all about that. So really like this. And makeup brush to mention. I don't usually mention makeup brushes, but this, I have decided, you guys, this is my all time favorite brush. Like, my number one brush. This is from Real Techniques. It's their blush brush. I use this for contouring, for bronzing, for blush. It is the most perfect size, the perfect density, the perfect shape. I absolutely love this brush and it's at such a affordable price. Such an affordable price. So I just wanted to mention this to you guys because this is like an all-in-one brush. I love it so, so much. I use it especially for bronzer, but I love using it to contour too when I want like a really light contour. Love using it for blush. So good. The foundation that I've been using this month is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I do have a full review and tutorial on it. I'll link it down below. I still love my Maybelline Fit Me uh, Rimmel Stay Matte. Love all those foundations still, 
but this for some reason is what I've been gravitating towards pretty much on a daily basis. This stuff is amazing. I have it on my face right now. I love it. Sealers. Now I wanted to mention these. I feel like I talk about these all the time. Why I'm mentioning them to you, um, these are the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. They're, they're different though. This is the Maybelline Instant Rewind um, Dark Spot Corrector. This is the Dark Circle Eraser. But I'm mentioning them because I actually prefer the Dark Spot Corrector for highlighting under my eyes to this one. I love them both, um, but this one, Dark Spot Eraser, it's kind of getting a tongue twister, sorry, is more yellow toned. So it's really good for hiding those kind of bluish dark circles that we have and really highlighting under there. This one's also still amazing, but if you guys want to try something to really like highlight and conceal those under our dark circles, I recommend this one. I had to give another shout out to the Rimmel Lash Accelerator. I've been using this. This is like the only mascara that I'm using right now. I love it so much and it's only a couple dollars. So I just want to give a quick shout out. It's also something that I gravitate towards when it comes to be the warmer months. So this is from Mana Cosmetics and this is their Sheer Glow Shimmer Lotion. So you can use this. It's like a highlight. You can use it on your body. You can mix it with your foundation. You can use it just to like spot highlight like I did today. It's what I have on my cheekbones. It is in the shade Fake It. <laughs> and it's really hard to get a small amount so I'm always using way too much. It is the most beautiful like copper, oh my gosh, coppery shade. It is so stunning on the face. I do have to wait till I'm like tanner like I am now. It's the perfect shade for my skin tone right now um, because in the winter months my skin is just a little bit more on the pale side so this doesn't really match into my skin and it looks kind of strange. But you guys, if you are, I'm like an NC35 in MAC um, so if you're kind of like have an olive complexion and like light to medium skin tone with a tan, you guys will love this. I'm going to let it hang out there too because I like it. I want to talk about this contour stick, or this is a foundation stick from City Color Cosmetics, and I used it in one of my recent tutorials. Love it for my cream contouring. Let me know if you guys want, here it is, watch, it's so creamy and velvety smooth. Let me know if you guys want a tutorial on how I cream contour. I'd be more than happy to do that. I don't have that up on my channel, so definitely let me know. This is in the shade Mocha. Again, it's from City Color Cosmetics. And it is completely matte. It is so creamy and smooth. So easy to blend. The only thing I don't like about it is the smell. I can't really describe what it smells like. It smells like a fragrance, though, and I just don't like it. But everything else about it is really good. My all-time favorite lip combo, I guess you should say, this month has been kind of like a nudie, mauve, tea rose, grayish tone nude if that makes any sense. So I pair it with the e.l.f. Uh, Mineral Lip Liner in the shade Raisin, and I've used this in two tutorials this month, you guys. That's how much I love it. I just can't stay away from it. So here is the e.l.f. Lip Liner in Raisin. It's just a very nice uh, mauve plum brown nude. <laughs> and then over top, I put that kind of like all over my lips, and then over top I've been using the Jordana Twist and Shine um, Balm Stain. This is in the shade Nude Chic. It is such a unique color. It is a brownie, mauve, slightly grayish tone, tea rose with a slight purple hue to it. <laughs> that makes no sense. I'm the worst at describing colors. But this combination right here is just out of this world. It is so perfect for any occasion. And I'll link those two tutorials down below where I included this and use it as a lip option because it is just amazing. And these two are so affordable. Only a couple dollars each. So love that. I also want to talk about what's on my lips. So I first have the ColourPop. Uh, this is one of their lippy sticks. This is matte and it's in the shade Bossy. Now I'm not including this one of my favorites though I really want to because I did just get this the other day. Um, but I have that underneath and I love it you guys. But then over top this is one of my all time favorites. This is from Flower Beauty. You can get this at Target and Walmart I believe. Or just Walmart. And this is in the shade Stop the Violets. Oh, it is the most beautiful raspberry shade. That's the best way I can describe it. I put this over like any red lipstick and it just makes it into my perfect red lipstick. I don't know what it is about cheetah print. Whenever I wear cheetah print, I throw on red lipstick or purple. But I thought today I would do red because I've been wearing purple a lot recently and I know not everybody likes purple lipstick, so today I wanted to go with a red. And two more lip products. Another nude. This is from uh, the Essence line. A couple dollars as well, you guys. Super affordable. This is in the shade Nude Love. It's kind of similar to Gerard Cosmetics Buttercup. I'm just going to swatch that here. It's just a really nice um, pinky nude. I really, really like this. I've worn this in a couple videos as well, which I'll link down below. And it's so creamy. It has a nice sheen. It's like a cream sheen finish. And I just, I love it so much. 
is from the Maybelline The Vivids line, an awesome line. And this is in the shade 860 Pink Pop. So yeah, I just feel like with my skin tone, this happens to be my perfect pink. So whenever I want to rock that bold, bright in your face pink, this is what I gravitate towards. And I just love it, especially when I have more of a tan going on. That was everything that wraps up this month's favorites. I don't really have any show favorites. I'm watching Gossip Girl again because I'm all caught up on Revenge and um, waiting for Pretty Little Liars to start back up. So I'm watching, I'm re-watching Gossip Girl and Friends always. Uh, that's pretty much it. Let me know down below what are some of your favorites. What have you been loving this month? It can be anything, beauty, food, shows, clothes, anything. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It. and also make sure to subscribe to my channel for new videos I upload every Monday Wednesday Friday again thank you so much you guys for watching I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you next time Welcome back, it's Katerina, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. This video is going to be a review.